I've got all this stuff soaking in lacquer thinner. This is kind of just what I've always used. And it just doesn't seem to be getting uh, super clean like I hoped it would be. So let me pull out a big, good part here. There's still stuff on there that I can wipe off with my finger. Um, so what I suspect is in here is gel diesel, gel biodiesel. Um, I did some research. Some people said floor wax stripper, things like that. Um, so we're going to go through stuff until we get this cleaned up. Next, we're going to try just straight up denatured alcohol. Some people said that this will work. I called the pump shop, the place I actually ordered the rebuild kit from, the seal kit. And I said, yeah, well, we have something special we soak it in to clean it, everything up in situations like this. And I said, well, you want to tell me what it is? And I said, you can send the pump in if you want. That's fine. I'll figure it out. We'll come back in a few hours, days. So that stuff is obviously soaking in the alcohol. But to be honest with you, I'm not too high on that. So I'm gonna try, I saw somewhere uh, in one of the forums or something, some guy said they use Zep Floor Wax Stripper. I don't have any of that, but I do love, you know, Simple Green. This is knockoff Simple Green for all kinds of stuff. So I'm just gonna put this like 50-50 Simple Green in water because this does have quite a bit of gum on it and we'll see what this gets. It's all aluminum, so I'm not worried about it rusting or corroding or anything. We'll try this because that stuff isn't gonna cut it, I don't think. There, nothing really worked, but I do notice one thing, it's pretty hot, it's about 95 out the other day. So I put this bucket and the one with the simple green outside and I actually saw this stuff started to wear away. So that told me that the key to this is going to be heat, I think. So if you look at this, everything is starting to look pretty good, um, but you can just still kind of see in there, like that kind of stuff wipes away with my finger. Obviously I could get this clean enough, um, but since there's a lot of little ports and passages and everything in here, I really don't want to do that. So what I did was I went ahead and I bought this ultrasonic cleaner. I'll put a link to this in the description below. I just got it off Amazon. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us just a little bit of agitation. You can see on this, there's still quite a bit of that biodiesel paste or whatever we want to call it, right? This is going to give us a little bit of agitation, but more importantly, it's going to heat everything for us, which is important to me. So I'm going to load this thing up and uh, we will get to cleaning with the ultrasonic cleaner. I don't think it's going to take long, maybe a couple hours in here. It says to fill it right to the top. Doesn't work. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so temperature, 60C sounds good. So we'll get it nice and hot, and then... Okay, you guys gotta go ahead. Apparently ultrasonic is bad for dogs or something. Yeah, I can see that. So we're gonna let that run and we'll come back and see if it's clean. Oh yeah, look at that already. Look at all that dirt coming out. It's got a little bit of ultrasonic-y. This thing's gonna be sweet. All right, so I ran this, uh, probably got up to about 60C. I ran it maybe for two hours on the ultrasonic part. You can see down in there, uh, there's quite a bit of junk in there. This is one of the parts. This is the governor ring out of the, the pump I'm working on. As you can tell, it's pretty darn clean. A little bit of film maybe in there, um, but this is with no scrubbing at all. Everything looks pretty good, I'm gonna call it. This thing works pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not sure how I would've cleaned all the rest of the stuff out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start placing some stuff. 
in the diesel fuel. Same thing on this. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get it much cleaner than this. Uh, ultrasonic cleaner definitely works pretty good for cleaning this old gunk off and, and probably carbs and anything of that matter. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I can try and answer them in the comments. Again, I'll post a link to this ultrasonic cleaner. That was kind of the key for me. You could probably do it if you just wanted to heat the stuff up, uh, but really, this thing came in at $140. The decent size, I can fit you know, everything I'm working on in it. And then, if you want a bigger one, you can spend more money. If you want a little smaller one, you can spend less money. Honestly, it's a pretty good tool. It's gonna be good around the shop. If you guys wanna see a more complete video on this Roots Master Pump, stay tuned. I should be posting that in the next week or so. I'm kinda gonna start finishing those up as we speak. I'm waiting for a few parts. Other than that, Get yourself an ultrasonic cleaner and we'll talk to you next time.